Come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey guys, my name is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey Through Crafting. What's going on, guys? Um, today, we're going to do something just a little bit different. I want to do something to go along with the balloon um, garland that I'm doing. The daughter. But what I want to make is I want to make something like a backdrop. And I want to make it out of running board. So in order to make it, I'm going to need six of these foam boards from Dollar Tree. Um, just some regular tape, um, clear tape. And um, we're going to take it from there. I might need to use my, my lamp poles, but I'm not sure. But if so, you're going to need two lamp poles. Um, and then you're going to need some balloons to decorate. So guys, we can make it on this journey. I hope you're ready to go on this journey with me. Again, you're gonna need six foam boards, some um, some tape from Dollar Tree, the clear tape, and yeah. And to my new subscribers, um, my name is Rosalind once again, and I am so happy that you're here. And if you like what you see, I would really, really appreciate it if you would hit um, the su subscribe button. Because right now, I need some new subscribers, and I need to be you. So come along on a journey with me. I'm gonna have to get down on the floor. So guys, we're going in. going to have to put these two together and then we're going to have to put the third one in order to do that it has to be on the floor because it's going to be very tall I didn't measure the height as of yet but I will and I'm just I got this vision coming in and guys I tell you I think this is going to be cool If I remember, I'll try, I'll try to show you guys how, I'll tell you guys how you can make a stand for it. You, can, you just use any two by four wood, um, two of them side by side, bring it together like that, and then just stick the foam board in it and glue it in. And that should hold it up. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it guys. Or you can use some PVC pipe. With two poles, we do the same thing. Now, I'm not worrying about how the tape looks because I'm going to put some. Um, but I'm gonna put on it, you're not gonna see the tape at all. 
okay? And I'm also gonna put some pot stickers so it won't bend. And I will show you guys that. And I'm only gonna put it here. I'll show you. Because I don't want it to bend. I like it here. Because that's what it's bending at, and if you do not have it taped down like I don't, um, it will bend. So, what I'm going to do is turn it over on the back side after I finish, and I'm going to put some popsicle sticks. And um, yeah, we're going to go from here. But this, this wall here yeah, is going to be really cool. Cute, guys. And I'm going to put balloons around it. Just wanted to take you guys on the journey and um let you see that you can um build a backdrop for, for little to nothing because i just i have this vision in my head and when i have this vision in my head i like it because it just it just flows i don't want to lose it so i'm going to go ahead and, and try to finish this off i need to make my um get my stands together this is how it's looking so far so far guys and if you don't need it this tall you can always, always, always cut it down. I'm definitely going to put some popsicles, sticks in the back of it. Just to give it some stability. Because I do not want it to bend. This one here, guys, is a very tall. If you like, you can, um, you know, cut it up some or cut it down. I'm probably gonna cut it down. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna give. I'm probably gonna cut it down just a little bit. And as you can see right now, it's doing a little bending thing. And that's all because we need to secure it. So I'm gonna go heat up my glue gun and I'll be, I'll be right back to show you guys what I'm talking about. Once you put your popsicle sticks, you won't get this bending. So let me do that right now. Okay guys, so I brought you back to show you what I done. I took the popsicle sticks and I put them all the way down, all the way across to give it stability so it will not buckle when I put my fringes up there. Yeah. This made it so much better. No bending. I don't have to worry about it falling and breaking. Well, not breaking, but just bending. That's, that's what the concern was, bending. And if you put the popsicle sticks in the back of it, you will not have to worry about that. And I think this is cool. This is a way for you to save money. And it's not going to be a cheap way of saving, of saving money. It's going to be a way of you saving money. Because these backdrops that we're about to make, well, this backdrop that we're about to make, in the future I'm going to make more. But this one here, you can round it off from here, around there, if you choose to. I'm not going to round mine off. 
because I want my balloons to come from the top to go all the way around and um, I will be giving you guys measurements and what I did what I also did I'm just going to say, you don't have to worry about any bending and I'm so happy with that but what I did was I cut the top part off because I didn't want it to be too tall um, so this is about just just about right I guess this is about five foot five this gotta be at least I'm gonna get this six feet yeah I'm gonna get this about six feet and we cut off about this much so guys if you want your thing tall and fabulous you can just keep adding this thing can take up a whole wall you can um, uh, uh, measure your wall you can put one of these up to your wall and you can glue flowers all over this fake flowers real flowers you can just do so much with this so this is just not going to be for my balloon stain right this is also this can also be used to put your flowers just to make it a, a, a beautiful backdrop guys so the sky is the limit when it comes to things like this if you guys already know always tell you what is the saying when we craft them we try to make things um, versatile um, um, reusable um, that way we can use it for more than one thing right so when we when I finish with this when I take my fringes down my fringes is going to be silver as I said before you will not see none of this tape when I take this fringes down I'm going to do a rose garden standing up guys I'm going to put so many roses on this thing here, which is a good idea. Now, it don't have to be with roses, as I told you before. It can be material, right? It could be uh, curtains, shower curtains. Um, or you can use some of this craft paper here from Michaels. They come in all colors. And you can you could just um, take this around, staple it around, or contact paper, any kind of contact paper you want, silver, gold, black, green, purple. Once again, you can decorate your wall. So the sky's the limits with the skies. But we're we're not finished with this thing. I wanted to tell you guys, if you was to stand it in the corner of a room, you can just probably take some two sixties and rope it off and tie it to the, to the wall. Or, yeah, that'd be good. Take two 60s, take your two 60s down here, tape it down uh, 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 to the back of the wall. Perfect idea, I think so. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go get my poles. That's one of the things I'm gonna show you guys. But first, let me just, let me just show you what I had in mind. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take this top part off. It comes off. This comes off. So does this comes off. to do as you see this this is what mine is going to say it's going to be one on each side the other one is on the other side of the corner so I can't get that and I'm going to have it um, really really tape to that pole so that's what I was saying how mine's going to have its own stain and as you can see guys it's going to work perfectly let me just show you so it's gonna, be, it's gonna be this height. I'm not gonna have to worry about it for color. That's what I'm doing. So it's gonna be one on each side. I'm gonna have it taped down in the back, and I'm gonna have my fringes on it with my balloons around. Okay guys, so I brought you back because I wanted to show you how it would look with material on it. Um, like I said, you could put any material that you want on it. But I just wanted to give you guys uh, uh, just a little 
Now, say for instance, you wanted to just take pictures, the perfect back, like the backdrop. Just, just, just perfect. For less than nine dollars, you can't get no better than this. And like I said, you can make a stand for it to stand on. And that's up to you. Or you can push it up into a corner of the wall, like I had. And you can, you can staple it down, you can tape it down, you can glue it down. That'll be up to you. But this is just another way that you can um, decorate this backdrop. And again, I already told you that you can use any contact paper you want, right? Any contact paper, any beautiful curtains, purple, green, yellow, orange, red. And guys, you can't ask for anything better for less than $10. Oh, 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 oh,